What's up you guys? Daniel here with another fabulous makeup tutorial. Everyone keeps saying you need to do more drag looks, so take it all in. Here it is. <gasps> okay. Voice over time. <laughs> All right, you guys, to get this started, we gotta prep our face. Prepping is the most important part of any makeup tutorial. So for this, I'm just using my cellar water to get anything cleared off of my face, and then I'll be putting on a moisturizer. I will also be putting on a color corrector from Pure Cosmetics. This is just going to cover up any of the rosacea that you see on my cheeks. I have a lot of red spots, so this is going to balance out the skin tone. On top of the color correction, I'm putting on a makeup primer from Dermalogica. This is going to give me a smooth surface to put the foundation. For foundation, I'll be using quite a few. This one here is Max Next to Nothing Foundation as a base coat. I will also be using a highlight from the Next to Nothing Foundation, just a couple shades lighter in all of the highlighted spots of my face. For contour, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Fawn. This will go on my nose, on my cheekbones, and also my jawline. To brighten up the highlights even more, I will be using the Benefit Boing Concealer. This is going on the tip of my nose and underneath my eyes, and then you just blend them out from there. Like I said a few moments ago, I will also be contouring my jawline to make it smaller. Now the most important part of this is you don't want to make it look like a beard, so you have to blend, 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 blend. If you have sufficiently blended this contour, it should look like a shadow instead of a beard. All right, now to make this drag, you gotta glue down those eyebrows because we're gonna be drawing right on top of them. I'm using just an Elmer's glue stick and then powdering them down and covering them with concealer. For the eyebrows, I'm drawing them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in a few shades. I'm using chocolate, ebony, and granite. Now for my favorite part, the eyeshadow. We'll be using a couple different shades, mostly the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and also Sugar Pills 2AM eyeshadow. Once you have set in the transition color, you're going to put a darker shade in the crease of your eye and blend it outward and up towards your brow bone. I like to also drag my eyeshadow into the corners of my eye, which is not traditional, but I think it gives it a cool look and slims your nose down quite a bit. Now to be putting even more eyeshadow into this look, I will be putting darker colors into the crease of my eye and also in the inner corners of my eye. And we cannot forget a little bit of glitter. <laughs> So I have just put a glitter base on the top of my eyelid and then put Lit Cosmetics Ella 3 on the eyelid. And then I will blend the two seams of eyeshadow and glitter together. For eyeliner, I am of course using the Epic Ink Liner from NYX Cosmetics, doing a double cat eye in both the inner and outer corners of my eye and bringing some of that outer corner underneath my eye. For lashes, we're gonna stack on some 301's giant lashes here. The mascara we are using is Lights, Camera, Lashes from Tarte Cosmetics. Now this little drag tip makes your nose look smaller than it actually is. I am bringing the nostrils forward and making them larger in the front. This will make the tip of your nose look smaller. Kinda cool, huh? For highlight I am using Soft Frost from MAC Cosmetics. And for the lips, we will also be using a lip liner and lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. This is going to be the 
Plum Lip Pencil and Twig and Mare Lipsticks. I also put a pop of white in the center of the lips to give them some sort of dimension. And of course, we gotta put on this gorgeous coral doll lace front wig from Uni Wigs. Use code Daniel for 12% off. It is so beautiful, you guys. After the wig is on, there's only final touches. Put on these cool lace gloves, add some final signature touches, and you are ready to roll. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you are totally into it. And um, if you're into my drag looks, make sure you keep an eye out for my 31 Days of Halloween because I got some surprises for you. <laughs> All right, till next time, you guys. Bye-bye.